Right, let's sort the buyers from the spires, the needy from the greedy, and those who trust me from the ones who don't. Because if you can't see value here today, you're not up here shopping, you're up here shoplifting. Yeah. You see these goods, never seen daylight, moonlight, Israelite, fanny by the gaslight. Take a bag, come on, take a bag. I took a bag home last night, cost me a lot more than £10, I can tell you. <laughs> Anyone like jewellery? Look at that one there. Handmade in Italy, hand stolen in Stepney. It's as long as my arm, I wish it was as long as something else. <laughs> Don't think because these boxes are sealed up, they're empty. The only man who sells empty boxes is The Undertaker. And by the look of some of you lot here today, I make more money with me measuring tape. Here, one price, £10. Did you say £10? Are you deaf? That's a bargain, I'll take one. Squeeze in if you can, left leg, right leg, your body will follow. They call it walking. You want one as well, darling? You do, that's it, they're waking up. Treat the wife, treat somebody else's wife. It's a lot more fun if you don't get caught. <laughs> Hold on, you want one as well? OK, darling, show me a bit of life, then. So we're standing out there like one o'clock half-struck. Buy them, you better buy them. These are not stolen. They just haven't been paid for. If you can't get them again, they've changed the bloody locks here. What for you? No good right. coming back later when That's I've sold start. out. Too late, too late will be the cry when the man with the bargains has passed you by. And if you've got no money on you now, you'll be crying tears as big as October cabbages. Bacon cosmos. Ed can hustle a few quid here and there, but his real talent lies in cards and gambling with cards. Bacon could see that his days of selling moody goods on street corners are numbered. It's time to move on, and he knows it. about i'm bloody skinny pal yeah yeah of course you are all right ed nick the greek always a pleasure tom what have you been eating i've been telling them this. enough already you two join me in my office so uh, how much is it then tom you know how much it is nick and that includes the amp yeah no that does not include the amp shit tom i thought it included the amp well it doesn't I'll throw in one of these telephones if you like, but it does not include the amp. Very nice. I hope it includes the speakers. It doesn't include the speakers. It doesn't include the amp. And it's not supposed to include me getting the amp of your stupid questions. Now you want it, Nick. You buy it. What else do I get with it? You get a gold-plated Rolls-Royce, as long as you pay for it. Don't know, Tom. Seems expensive. Seems. Well, this seems to be a waste of my time. That is 900 nicker in any shop you're lucky enough to find one in, and you're complaining about 200. What school of finance did you study? It's a deal. It's a steal. It's sale of the fucking century. In fact, fuck it, Nick. I think I'll keep it. All right, all right. Keep your Allens on. It's a ton. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, you could choke a dozen donkeys on that. And you're haggling over 100 pound? What do you do when you're not buying stereos, Nick? Finance revolutions. 100 pounds is still 100 pounds. Not when the price is 200 pounds, it's not. And certainly not when you've got Liberia's deficit in your skyrocket. Tight than a duck's butt, you are. Now, come on. Let me feel the fibre of your fabric. The skinny one is Tom, and he's the entrepreneur of the bunch. He's got a couple of dirty little fingers and a couple of dirty little pies. Nick here, however, has made it his business to have all 20 fat little fingers and toes in every dirty, bent and stolen pie in London. Between the two of them, there ain't much you can't get hold of. That's my 25 grand. It's all there. It took me a long time to earn that, so you treat it with respect. What about the chef? You come as Cupid, stupid. That's the last time I'm getting any more fruit off of you, Tom. Do you call that fresh? 
There was more small area armoured things in your fruit than there was fruit. You should open a butcher's, not a grocer's. Well, if you will order stuff from Kamandu, don't be surprised if it picks up a few tourists en route. Anyway, enough about that. Where's the money? Oi! Keep your fingers out of my soup. Soap is called Soap because he likes to keep his hands clean of any unlawful behaviour. He's proud of his job and even more proud that it's legal. He represents the more sensible side of the floor. You sure you can afford 25? That depends on how you look at it. I can afford it as long as I see it again, if that's what you mean. Got the rest from the fat man and bacon? Fat man, bacon and myself. Looks like it's time to make that call to Harry. Who's this fat man then, eh? Hey? Do you want a sandwich, Bacon? It's not easy to take a seat at this card table. The amount of money involved has to be a hundred grand upwards, and there's no shortage of punters. The man who decides whether you can play or not is this man, Harry. Or as some, including himself, like to call him, Hatchet Harry. You got it all? 100 grand. Well, if you got it, you got it. Now, if you don't mind. What's this Eddie like, then? He's a fucking thief. Harry has a colleague, a monster of a man, Barry the Baptist. The Baptist got his name by drowning people for hatchets. Are you going to fucking fight? No, fight. Are you going to fucking fight? fight. <laughs> Barry makes sure the administrative side of the business runs harmoniously. The boy's got a rare ability. He seems to make cards transparent. He's got All right, down. all right, so we can say he's good. Oh, no, he's better than good. He's a fucking liability. Here, hold on. What do you think of these? We're selling hundreds. Very nice, Harry. What's it for? Oh, don't play innocent with me, Bazza. Spanking.